It's the 18th of September in 2021, and we're here at a crossroads and all across Canada, the United States, and perhaps the whole world, people will be going to the streets. And this is a phenomena that's been happening more and more, and it seems to be growing in strength. And it is the only way to actually show the truth of the people, the truth of the resistance and the strength of it to what is occurring right now. And my guess is in Canada, it is not gonna be strong. And strangely enough, I thought Quebec would be pounding the streets. But I think something has happened, which is, is hard to come to grips with in terms of who we are as people and how this, the screens are affecting us and how the phones are affecting us and how we're allowing things to occur, which would seem completely insane 20 or 30 years ago, but now it becomes reality. And we are under attack. We are under attack from families and bloodlines and institutions and groups that are waging a war from behind closed doors. And they can never be identified. They have these names like the, the elite or the globalists or uh, other names. But no one goes to really identify them because then your life becomes in danger. If you point to the true enemy, the enemy will be ruthless in its interaction with you. And everybody knows that. And that is one of the big elephants in the room in terms of really how do you deal with insane bloodlines that have this grip on power that do it through the banking system in such a manner that the whole world is under their clenches. They're like parasites clutched into the, the host's vital organs. And if you ever get rid of them, they'll kill the host. What are we to do? First, you have to know that your enemy exists. And the true enemy is something called usury. It's interest on interest. It's the way they collect all the wealth from the people. And if you don't know that, then that is a huge missing piece out of what has to happen. Look up usury. Look at how it kills civilizations.